Let's see what day it is today. It's Tuesday. Thanks to the elevator. Always keeping us informed. <laughs> everyone and welcome to day four of our time here on the adventure of the seas my name is zach this is adventures in coriolis and today is a sea day the first sea day i've had in over 15 months so i'm very excited just to be on the ocean today to get to explore more of the ship and just relax it's a, it's going to be a great day i'm actually going to have lunch this afternoon at chops grill so i'm excited to bring you a review of that right now i'm headed down to the dining room Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Good nice to see you. Here. You too. Yeah, this works great. Thank you so much. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. So a beautiful morning as we sail toward Mexico this morning here on the Adventure of the Seas. Not sailing too fast, just sort of easing along now as we make our way through the Straits of Florida. So to the north up there, probably around 40, 45 miles away is the Florida Keys. And then to the south down here, uh, probably another 40 or so miles away is actually Cuba. I don't think the video is gonna pick it up, but I can actually see uh, Cuba here very faintly. You can see some of the coastline now as we're nearing Havana so uh, beautiful beautiful morning it's still just 8 30 in the morning there's some folks out walking getting their exercise in on this sea day and then there's folks like me just stuffing their face in the dining room but this is uh this is what it's all about folks this is a, a beautiful sea day when you wake up just on the ocean no land in sight it's gonna be a a great day Well, good almost afternoon everyone it's just before 12 o'clock and in just about 30 some odd minutes i'm going to have my reservation down at chops grill for lunch so excited to bring that to you all and give you a review and my thoughts on that um, i did have breakfast in the main dining room this morning not as great a service as what i've come to expect for dinner my dining team it just delivers such great service every night but the breakfast this morning was uh, i would just say okay i had the chocolate chip pancakes and they were okay i didn't i wouldn't say that i actually even enjoyed them and also i had two hash browns with ketchup and three pork sausage links and also had some orange juice and coffee and they also brought me a cinnamon pastry so it was just okay uh, i think i would just prefer next time to just go up to windjammer so maybe for the rest of the days on the cruise i'll just go to windjammer and get breakfast off the buffet because i think the past two days when I've had breakfast up there on the buffet, I've actually enjoyed that more than I did the breakfast in the main dining room this morning. But enough about breakfast, it's lunchtime now, so let's go check out Chops Grill. Chops is located here on deck four forward. Uh, the Lyric Theater for reference is right over here. And it's just beside the Schooner Bar, which is right there. So uh, let's go in and grab lunch. I'll take the one over here. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So here's the menu uh, for Chops, and like all the other venues, they also have the QR menu. Um, they do have appetizers. There's a wild mushroom soup, colossal shrimp cocktail. A charred beef carpaccio and then a wedge salad for entrees they have an angus filet mignon organic roasted chicken grilled atlantic salmon a dry aged steak burger a steak salad a caesar they also have sides and then finally they have dessert the price to dine at chops is 44.99 for dinner but for lunch the price is 22.99 so here's the bread selection uh, and the butter which i like this in the tub that you can serve it yourself because it's so much uh, smoother and easier to apply to the bread. In the dining room, they've been given the packets of butter and that's not quite as easily managed 
uh, but they have a pretzel bread and some kind of onion bread he said over here so this looks really good uh, just a step above what you get in the dining room even though that's really good also all right so that was fast just as soon as i cut into my bread and started eating it i got my appetizer so this is the colossal shrimp cocktail so there are four super large pieces of shrimp here some cocktail sauce and serve with a garnish of a lemon wedge so an update on the bread situation the pretzel bread somehow disappeared and i've now started on the onion bread and this is really really good a really strong onion flavor with this bread it's also very uh crunchy on the outside but very very soft and moist on the inside you can actually see here's a closer cross-section cut of the onion bread there's actually little onion flakes in it baked into the bread um, this is delicious he actually just came by and asked if I wanted more and I said absolutely all right so everything just arrived and here is that filet mignon it looks absolutely delicious and I already had to cut into it to make sure it was done and it's so moist and easy to cut uh, also got some asparagus for the side and some cheesy tater tots so all this looks absolutely fantastic especially for lunch just wanted to show you real quick the tater tot which I just cut into look at that that is just full of cheese so for the final course of the lunch this is the red velvet cheesecake I'm excited to try this it looks delicious and then also got some coffee as well and this is a uh, different from the coffee that you can get in the main dining room. Just finished up lunch at Chops Grill. Wanted to get my thoughts on that. Overall, it was a very good lunch. I think for $22.99, you get a lot of food. I can't imagine paying the $44.99 for dinner, which is the full price of the restaurant. I can't, I don't know what additional offerings that they have that would make it so much better than what I experienced. All the food was good from the shrimp cocktail that I had. The steak was good, it was cooked just fine. One thing I would say about the steak, it didn't have a whole lot of seasoning, the filet. It was a very tender piece of meat, but it just lacked some flavor. So that there's some area of improvement, I guess, for Chops Grill uh, in regards to the filet. The red velvet cheesecake was fantastic at the end, as was the coffee, but yeah, I think Chops is absolutely reasonably priced. I think I would only go for lunch. I don't think I would pay the $44.99 for dinner and I will still say still maintain that the dinner that I had uh, on Saturday night that prime rib was a much better cut of meat than the filet that I had it was cooked so much better so much more flavorful so that meal in the main dining room is still number one on this cruise I know I keep referring to it. it's like my reference point for food now on this cruise but nothing that I had today tops that or touches that those are my thoughts on chops grill again if you want to try it maybe try it out on a sea day for lunch or a port day if you're going to be on the ship I think for $22.99, that's a very fair price. For what you get, it's a really good value. All right, good afternoon. Now we're gonna start our ship tour. We're gonna show you all around the Adventure of the Seas, some of the highlights of the ship. Today we start our tour at the pinnacle, the very height of Adventure of the Seas, which is the chapel, the wedding chapel. This is on the 14th deck, very top of the ship. There are a few rows in here for seating for your elaborate wedding at sea. And then deck 14 is actually a lounge area and bar this is also the location for the diamond club and also some of the lounges for some of the folks with high status on royal caribbean but this is the uh the level of the ship that you can see from all the other decks out on the open decks when you look back it sort of looks like a spaceship this is what we're inside here now you can see wonderful panoramic views all around so the diamond lounge is on the other side and the suite lounge here uh, it's for sweet guests only. It's an exclusive area of the ship, only for those guests. So while deck 14 was pretty bougie, uh, deck 13 is a little less so uh, because this is the portion of the ship. We're gonna find a lot of the fun uh, attractions on the ship. Now we're on the back of the ship. And this is also where you're gonna find the water slides here, the perfect storm. And also on deck 13, you can find Flow Rider, uh, which is where you can come try your hand or your body, I guess, at uh, surfing right here on the back of the ship. It's very windy. Here is the mini golf course. And also on deck 13 uh, is where you're gonna have access to the rock climbing wall, which is up there. But the stairs, in order to get up there, are actually here. See, someone's just climbed to the top. She did that. 
the access to the rock climbing wall is up here, uh, up these stairs. So that's deck 13. Now let's go check out deck 12. Starting on the aft of deck 12, this is Johnny Rockets. This is an additional cost restaurant, uh, but it's just like the Johnny Rockets that you would have in any of the land locations. And also on deck 12 is a continuation of the mini golf that started up on deck 13. And there's also some ping pong tables back here. Now we're gonna walk forward on deck 12, which is the upper deck of the Lido deck. So now we've made it up deck 12. Now we're headed toward the front of the ship. We're toward the forward portion of the ship. Right over here is the sky bar, which is where you can come up and get some drinks, just right beside the Lido deck. And they have live music going on the Lido deck there this afternoon. I guess that up there is a continuation of deck 13. Well, I won't go up there now. I went up there on embarkation day. That's just a lot of chairs and places to relax all the way forward on the ship. Now we're gonna go inside on deck 12. So this is the forward elevator bank on deck 12. And all the way forward on deck 12, you'll find Vitality Spa and Fitness Center. This is the upper level of the spa center. And now we're gonna go to deck 11 and we'll see the lower floor of it. So here we are now on deck 11 and all the way forward on deck 11, we'll find the Vitality Fitness Center. So this is the gym portion of Vitality and the portion on deck 12 is all the spa. So if you're gonna go to the gym, it's all the way forward on deck 11. Also on deck 11, of course, this is the Lido deck on the ship. But it's also where you're gonna find the solarium, which is the indoor portion of the Lido. Also on deck 11, if you come outside and go all the way forward and uh, look off the front of the ship, right behind us here is the gym, fitness center up there is the spa. But also it's called Peekaboo because you can actually come down here and spy on the bridge. So if you look down there, you can actually see the folks down in the bridge hard at work. Here's a little info about the bridge and what all is going on down there. So see the navigation control station and the helm of the ship, which is what we can see directly in front of us. This is pretty cool. Can't say I've seen anything like this before on a cruise ship. It's it's neat that you can come here and actually see uh, the officers down there navigating the ship as we sail around Cuba this afternoon. So now inside the solarium on deck 11, as we head toward the after the ship, the solarium is just the indoor portion per se, of the Lido deck. So there's some jacuzzis and just places to lounge and relax. Uh, it's very humid in here, typically. Now we're gonna head out onto the pool deck, onto the main portion of Lido. You're on deck. 11, the Lido deck is where you can find the Arctic zone, which is where you can get that self-serve ice cream and frozen yogurt. But it's not so self-serve now, at, they have assistance. So just inside of the outdoor deck here on deck 11 is where you'll find another one of the specialty restaurants on Adventure of the Sea, which is Giovanni's Table. This is the Italian eatery here on the ship. Here are the elevator banks that are toward the aft of the ship. And then here on the very back, the aft portion of deck 11 is all consumed by Windjammer Marketplace, which is the buffet on Adventure of the Seas. So both decks 10 and nine here on the Adventure of the Seas are both all staterooms. So now we're on deck eight. And the only thing really to note on deck eight, any common areas is the Royal Caribbean online a little lounge in here with a lot of computers 
there are printers in here um, and I do notice that all the computers have the zoom login screen up so I think you do have to have some sort of internet package in order to access these computers but this is the only common guest area here on deck 8. Now just like deck 8, deck 7 only has one common area on it as well and both the common areas on deck 8 and deck 7 are nearest to the aft elevators on the ship and here on deck 7 it's the library. And what was true of deck 8 and deck 7 is also true of deck 6. The only guest common area on deck 6 is next cruise, which is where you can come to book your next Royal Caribbean cruise. And uh, you can actually get some deals and onboard credit if you book your cruise while you're currently on a Royal Caribbean cruise. So this is where you come here at the next cruise desk in order to do that. So I got stuck there at the next cruise desk a little bit longer than anticipated because I actually booked another Royal Caribbean cruise uh, for May of 2022 on the Harmony of the Sea. So subscribe down below because we're going on another Royal Caribbean cruise. That's how much on the third day, I guess, the middle of the cruise, that's how much I'm enjoying Royal Caribbean and this cruise that I would already book another one. So I um, can't help myself. So now we've made it to deck five of the ship. There is a lot of things to see on deck five but here in the very back of deck five is the upper level of the sapphire dining room and then right here as we start to move toward the forward on the ship we get into the atrium portion of the ship and over here on the left you have the champagne bar and over on the right is where you're going to find guest services and also the shore excursion desk deck five is also open to uh deck four and deck three down below so you can actually use these stairs to access those and right down there on deck four we'll see it in a minute is boleros so now continuing toward the center part of deck five you come upon the royal promenade this is where you're going to find the jewelry the general gift store there is also here on the promenade izumi which is the sushi restaurant on the ship and i'll be featuring that in a couple of days uh, for dinner also, you're gonna have the duck and dog pub. This is where you can get some drinks on a sea day or any day of the cruise, really. There's also a perfume shop here. They also have these freestyle Coca-Cola machines here. So if you have the drink package, I guess that's where you can get a drink. Then this is also the location of the Ben and Jerry's on the ship where you can get all of your ice cream and treats as well as Cafe Promenade, which is where 24 hours a day you can get pizza you can get sandwiches you can get beverages you can get pastries just a whole assortment of things that you can get here 24 7 a day i think this is the only establishment around the ship where you can actually get food anytime you want it here's an example of the food that they have at the cafe promenade they're just takeaway sandwiches i think they change every day which sandwich they have this is a roast beef sandwich and then they also have an assortment of cookies and other desserts and pastries that are always available. So now continuing our way forward on deck five, now that we're past the promenade and the shops, you see we come to the forward bank of elevators. And all the way forward on deck five, we are fine. The Imperial Lounge. The Imperial Lounge is where uh, you'll find a lot of musicians playing music. There is also having bingo in here. It looks like this is just a smaller venue where they have um, a lot of events. There's a bar in here. But the Imperial Lounge is all the way forward on deck five. So now I'm actually on deck five of the ship. But to access it, you need to go outside on deck four and then go as far forward on the ship as you can. And you actually come up a series of steps right back there inside the hull of the ship and then more steps here and you're going to end up on the helicopter pad of the ship and you're going to have a great view of the ship looking back and then perhaps the coolest thing is you can actually be standing the front of the ship which is right here so you'll be looking out over the front of the ship and have really good views as you're looking back 
of the ship. You can see the bridge up there. So now we are on deck four, all the way four. Deck four is the location of the upper deck or the balcony of the Lyric Theater, which is the main theater on board. So on deck four of Adventure of the Sea, you can actually walk all the way around the outside edge of the ship. The deck goes all the way around the back of the ship and back around the other side. And there's also stairs that go up to the helicopter pad that we just saw on deck five. So those are those stairs. You just walk right up those and it'll take you right to that helicopter pad. We're now sailing just off the western tip of Cuba. You can see over there the mountains of western Cuba. Uh, probably within 10 miles of the coast. That's pretty awesome. I want to go to Cuba. As we start to head back, we'll run into Chop's Grill, which is where we had lunch today and then just across from that is the schooner bar this is where they have a lot of trivia and things like that during sea days and uh seems like this is a popular hangout spot there's always folks here all times of the day and night as we continue walking toward the aft we're going to enter the casino royale And now as we exit Casino Royale, we are on deck four toward the mid to aft of deck four. Up there you can see deck five and the guest services and short excursion desk where I showed you just a few minutes ago that we could see deck four. And then all the way up there you can see the next cruise desk. And all the way up I think to deck 11 in that open part of the atrium there. But here is Boleros, the bar, and then there's also a place here where they have musicians in the evening and there's also a lot of sections for seating here for folks you can hang out this is where they set up a lot of the photos uh, to be taken throughout the cruise and then all the way back as far as you can go on deck four is the middle floor of the sapphire dining room and finally we've made it to deck three deck three is the lowest deck that we will reach on the ship because it is the last deck where there's actually common areas for guests. Floor two is all staterooms and floor one is where the gangway is located so we will not go to either of those but we are here in the aft of deck three and here we have the bottom level of Sapphire dining room and this is actually my dining room and I think the dining room for your time dining which is what I have and it's a very beautiful dining room. So now as we continue on deck three now moving toward the front of the ship um, this area of the ship is the gallery the art gallery and then also the photo gallery where you can buy your photos that they take throughout the cruise and then as you move toward the center of the ship on deck three here is studio b which is the ice center there's actually an ice skating rink and it's closed right now so i'm not sure if i can get inside but we'll absolutely take a look in there uh, before the end of the cruise but pretty neat that there's an entire ice rink on a cruise ship so this is a weird deck where you can't walk all the way from the back all the way to the front so we're actually going to have to go back up to deck four in order to get around to the front and the forward portions of deck three so i will meet you there so now on deck three the very forward portion of the ship is the lyric theater this is the main theater on board the ship uh, it is closed right now of course they are controlling what areas of the ship guests are in throughout the day because of the protocols and pandemic restrictions but this is all the way forward on deck three so as the lyric theater is all that's on deck three in the forward portion of the ship remember forward portion of the ship lyric theater aft portion of deck three is where you have the photo and art gallery and also studio b and there's no connection in the middle you have to go to deck four and come all the way over we've seen the adventure of the sea from top now to bottom so thank you for joining me for that i just wanted to show you all some of the highlights of the ship hope it was helpful for you now I'm gonna take a break because all this ship exploring has made me tired, but I'll catch you all later in the evening. Well, good evening, everyone. It is almost 10 o'clock and I am beat for a sea day where I didn't really do anything except get up early. I also ate ton of food, as you saw. Uh, speaking of which, dinner was amazing yet again. Uh, I'll go over that really quick for an appetizer. I had the seafood cake, which was a lot, to me at least, like a crab cake. I also had the shrimp ceviche which was okay um this is the first thing i've had in the dining room and i was just like whatever but it's ceviche not a hearty like feeling appetizer like a lot of the other stuff you get in the main dining room for my entree i got the beef short rib that was fantastic 
on mashed potatoes. And then for dessert, I got the Mississippi mud pie, uh, which was very good. It reminded me actually of a pie that my grandmother used to make for me that we called Hershey pie. And it was just like basically chocolate, you know, and it has like a Oreo crust. It gave me fond memories and uh, I was appreciative of that. I'm gonna say good night. Tomorrow we have an awesome day planned in Cozumel. My first time there in a few years, excited. I'm going to go to Mr. Sancho's and check out uh, the activities and all the amenities there. I've got the all-inclusive package, my first time there. So come back and I'll give you an honest review of that. Thank you all for watching. And for now, good night. I'll see you in the morning from Cozumel, Mexico.